Facebook loses a million European users in three months. Here's a summary of the article. Facebook has lost a million daily and monthly active users in the last three months, the company's latest financial results have revealed. According to the company's latest figures, the number of Europeans logging onto the site every day dropped from 279 to 278 million, while monthly European users fell from 376 to 375 meters. However, total global user numbers continue to slowly rise, with more than 2.2 bn people using the platform every month. After the company's last financial results in July when Facebook said it expected revenue growth to slow and costs to rise, more than £90 billion was wiped off the company's value and is still to recover. The latest figures show costs rose 53% on the same period last year to $7.9 billion. The social network has publicly committed to recruiting thousands of new content moderators to help improve its ability to remove malicious content from the site, an area it has been widely criticized over. The latest figures suggest Facebook is well into that process, with the company's headcount reported as just over 33,000 at the end of September, up 45% on last year and 3,000 in the last three months. Facebook boss Mark Zuckerberg was positive about the company's future. The latest results showed total revenue of $13.7 billion, an increase of 33% on the same period last year. This post received a score of 11,205, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. It doesn't matter, they all use Instagram and WhatsApp. Ya, yeah, lol. Facebook just released their earnings report for Q3 and showed a net operating income of $5.3 billion. They made $15 billion off of $40 billion in revenue last year. Facebook might see slightly declining profits over the next few years, but I think Zuckerberg will still be able to afford the vacation house. Facebook revenue growth since 2016. Their revenue may be going up but with mounting pressure from world governments, their SG&A is going to go up a metric fuck ton in a few years. Or they'll just trust the almighty algorithms to do all the work for them and ban everyone that says anything remotely not nice. Their SG&A has exploded from $2 billion in 2013 to $9 billion today, a 5x increase. Guess what's happened to their net income over that period? It's gone from $3 billion to $24 billion. Generally applicable business rule, the revenue effect dominates the cost effect. Even if that growth slows, their stock trades for 18x earnings, that's like 50% less than Pepsi's and one-third of Nike's, mature businesses in the Dow. Those mature businesses give a dividend though, as well as real voting rights. Well there's no real economic value to voting rights, if you want a great example of this, look at the price of Goog vs Google Second, if you believe your finance textbook and M&M framework and all that, dividend policy is pretty much irrelevant to value only underlying cash flow matters. Now if you have a firm that makes a ton of income but not much cash flow, that's a concern, but FB makes a ton of cash and has a big pile of cash and cash equivalents. Having said that, buybacks are in effect the same thing as dividends the only difference being you have more leeway as a company as to when to execute buybacks. Goog vs Google tells you nothing, since neither gives you real voting rights. I mean, on paper Google does, but realistically it doesn't. So which one do I need to buy to get voting rights? Goo, you can't buy the one with real voting rights, which is the problem. Class C, Google, technically has voting rights, but Class B has 50% plus of voting power, and it's almost exclusively owned by Larry and Sergey, and I think Eric. IIRC there's also a clause where if the stock is ever sold, it's converted on sale to either Class A or Class C. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.